So you're Rick Carson or Richard Murdoch, hmm? That's right. But I don't think I've had the pleasure. Who's the friend for whom you're looking? His name is Monty Cooper. I was told he was to be paroled today to work on this farm. Uh, this is Mr. Barney Rodescu. Mr. Rodescu? Pleasure, sir. Mr. Holliday? Mr. Holliday? Hello. Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones. How do you do? Tell me, Carson, how did you get here? I didn't hear you drive up. Oh, but I didn't drive up. I parked my car down the road. Why? Well, I don't like lengthy explanations, but... You can speak freely, Rick. Well, you see, folks, I'm not exactly on speaking terms with the law. And when I saw a couple of cars parked outside, especially with my friend Monty being wanted in other states, I okay. figured... Okay. I guess you're all right, Carson. There's some coffee over there if you want any. Help yourself. Thank you. Hello? Yes, operator. Must be my secretary calling me back. Yes, Miss Bruce. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me get that. The telegram was sent to Mr. Holliday, Mrs. Prescott, Titus Jones, the Reverend Adams, and Donald Perkins. That's the entire parole board. This is awful. Isn't good. And just a minute. Telegrams were charged to my account and purportedly telephoned in by Miss Bruce. But when she checked and raised Kane with Western Union, they traced a call back to... What was that number again? Metropolitan 44244. Did you find out whose telephone number that was? You couldn't, huh? Well, keep on checking, Miss Bruce. I know that number. You do? Metropolitan 44244. That's Glenda Palmer's number. A dirty little double crosser. What does she think she's trying to pull? Something mighty dangerous for all of us, if you ask me. What was that number at your club again? Ellsworth, uh... 36097. What are you calling there for? Get me Ellsworth 36097, please. What are you going to do? 